Let me move into a quick trade wisdom segment that um, I talked about on Monday. Real quick, I'm not going to take long with this. The idea that we're trading off of historical probabilities and uh, and 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 uh, putting on trades based on the behavior as described by historical probabilities does not mean that the probability that you think you have historically something that you've studied, uh, hopefully you've studied a big enough sample to have a high confidence, it does not mean that that probability is the probability of the outcome. You've heard this before from me, probably. But really, our goal with studying history in a probabilistic statistical way is not only to describe the nature of, of the behavior, um, but it is um, think of think of luck as as a flow of air as wind. Okay, we are trading. Our outcome on every trade is absolutely and completely random. There's nothing you can do about that. You can you can jump up and down. You can you can pay for the greatest system and the greatest quant and so on. But at the end of the day, the outcome is completely and utterly and persistently random. Okay, and so luck is a huge factor by the simple virtue that it's random. There's an element of luck to trading. Now, that element of luck is not the same as you would have in roulette or poker or slot machine. It's it's a little bit more. You have a little more control over how you uh, how you interact with that luck in terms of what you execute, what information you wait for versus what price you're going to give up for that information and so on. I've talked a lot about this on the information versus price risk uh, discussion. But what I want to say is this. We come in here every day like kite flyers. Luck is constantly streaming. It is a wind. Okay, It's just constantly flowing. And, and some of it's positive, some of it's negative, some of it's going to cost us, and some of it's going to pay us. Our job as a trader is to fly as big a kite and as wide and as high as we can. And we do this by knowing what the nature of the market is, trying to describe it with in, in probabilistic historical probabilities as much as possible, exploiting that behavior. We want our kite to catch as much luck in that uh, in that statistical probability as possible, and um, and then knowing ourselves well enough to be able to execute our plan consistently without hesitation. These are important pieces, really important pieces to have in place. So, someone who's coming in and is trying to just grab someone else's kite that they found on a forum somewhere in a Skype group or something and tries to fly it without understanding you know the sh what how the shape of the kite impacts their luck their their historical probabilities without knowing how much uh, string they have without having all of these things cuz they didn't build this kite they didn't build it they just picked somebody else's and decided to fly it with real money now that would be a dumb thing to do knowing that you may have 5 3 10 20 25000 dollars on the line I would want to build my own kite. I would want to give it the shape that makes sense to me. And I would want it to have as the best possible opportunity for soaring up and going as wide as possible to capture as much of that luck wind as possible. And that luck wind might capture a lot of negative luck or positive luck. This is really the bottom line here. This is the bottom line. You're not going to be a, a, a drone flyer in this wind. You're not going to get to pick which luck you can, uh, you're can. you going to get. So you're not going to be able to pick which setup is going to be the one that pays you, which setup, which is legit, is the one that you should pass on. We are all flying kites. We're all putting our sails up. And the biggest sails get to capture the most luck and if the probability plays out, then capturing the most luck exposes your true edge, and that edge is hopefully positive based on a historical probability that you're flying. So every time you go out there and say, you know what, let me just 
let me just take a chance. I'm bored, like yesterday, terrible trading. I am bored. I'm just going to throw one out there. All you're doing is basically saying, I'm just going to sacrifice this money and see what kind of luck I'm going to catch. And because you're doing that, you're not, you're probably not defining the true edge that you have. You're not defining the risk and so on. And you're gambling. It's just absolutely and positively stupid. So if your goal by listening to these trader bites and the goal of these trader bites is to turn as many listeners as possible into career professional traders, that is the goal of convergent trading. That's our stated mission. And so if you if your goal is to do that, then you need to act as a professional as as much as possible, as continuously as possible. And that's that's really the intent. And we just let that edge show up. And and you're not going to have that edge show up if you run out of money. And a good way to run out of money is just to pick up kites and just throw them up in the wind. Pick up the next kite, throw it up in the wind. Pick up the next kite, throw it up in the wind. You don't know what why you're doing it. You don't know what the kite is for because you're picking up someone else's ideas and just throwing them up there. You need to build your own kite. Some of them may overwhelm you. They're too big. It's too big a, a kite and you might get lifted off the ground because your account's not big enough to hold you down. Some of them are too small and end up cutting you up in little pieces over time without capturing enough of that luck. You need to find something in between that matches your risk tolerance and so on. Derivative trading is not suitable for all investors. Remember that. But you can set yourself up for the maximum potential success and then it's luck, it's lady luck that determines whether or not you make it. That's all I have for you. Good luck.